competition. And uh, just always been excited when we had the kids right in the SA, um, um, city of South Fulton, right? And This tastes just like those good humor bars. Mm -hmm. The strawberry good humor. Crunch bar. Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> we gonna get a video. Sunday. Cooking live with Dorsha. Yes. Thank you. Proud. What's your name? Hello, I am Evelyn Fitzgerald, the owner and creator of Fitzgerald's Garden of Goodies. I am also known as Sheba Sheba, the Green Thumb Diva of Plant the Seed Radio Show. I host my own agriculture radio show. Peekaboo! So First, tell us about what you got in this let me basket. Tell you everything that I have going on. So we got some motherland okra. Have you seen that? Straight no. out of Africa. Mm hmm. I supported a fundraiser with Comfort Farms. This is oh, um, and, um, for the veterans. Yes, it was the veterans. Yes, yeah, okay. I'm always going to support them. My husband's a I veteran. Wanna, wanna... We got some um, delicious cucumbers. We have a variety of, of beans, wax beans, the purple beans. They cook green. Sure do. We have your spineless okra in here, too. That's a little too big, but it's still good. We have Congo watermelon. I grow those as well. That's a nice, tasty, seeded watermelon. I also grow over 60 different herbs. I have Yanni steams. I have facial steams. I have healing bars for your skin that gives you that natural glow. I also created a nod to my grandmother. Rest her, rest in heaven, granny. But these are Mary Evans. <laughs> And then my bunnies. She I also so raise bunnies as well. Yep. People can get in the face, but as for me, all I can say is thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. 
So we got a, we got regular potatoes, we got sweet potatoes we're growing. We got several different types of tomatoes. Oh, People also knew who you were. Yeah, a few people knew who we were. So was that like shocking you up here in Douglas County and to be recognized? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's weird. Even though I know that we can be seen around the world with this platform, but for people to say, "Hey, I've seen you before. I know you. You my soil sister." So, did people, um, were they interested in the Soil Family Expo? Yes, a lot of um, questions about Soil Family Expo. So, we're definitely working on a save the date for that ASAP so we can get that out. So, what did you share with the people, Bobby? Um, just who we were, what we do, uh, get with some seeds. Lots of them. And, uh, we just gave them a little bit of motivational words to, to make them go ahead and start growing. Yeah, because most people are not growing. And they say, oh, you know, I don't have time or space. And I tell them, something is better than nothing. Start small. Grow some collards or kale or salad mix or something in a pot. That will step you away from the grocery store. Just, you know, a little bit. But something is better than nothing. Start somewhere. It's peaceful. That's you, the biggest blessing. Do you think that there is a hunger or a desire to for people to do this? Yes, I think so. A lot of people are afraid and they don't know where to start. But... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, what else you got there? Uh, 